event doing the novice here. It's really rainy, so I'm warming up in my pack and neck. Um, and rough seems really calm this morning, but again, it's really soggy. The ground is awful, so we're going to see how the day plans out. Hoping to get a nice, clear, steady cross country show jumping, lots of poles and lots of stops, uh, just horses who do confidence in the mud. Um, but yeah, hoping just to stay on all four feet today. Hello and welcome back to a new YouTube video. Here you can see Ruffian warming up before going into the test. And here you can see me doing a walk to canter transition just to practice before heading into the arena. And then our test began. Ruff was quite excitable um, and I felt he was a little bit tense uh, throughout this test. Um, but he did a beautiful square halt um, at X on the entrance of our test and then turning right. I did feel he was just a little bit excited so I was um, just trying to balance him and keep him nice and relaxed um, going into the medium trot there which was nice. We actually scored a 25.8 I believe uh, for this test. Here doing his lateral work you can see he was tense and his bend was incorrect um, but preparing for our other lateral work going across the arena the other way. Um, he was a lot more relaxed um, and you can see it really well there. He tried really hard um, and I thought the second one was better. And I feel after that lateral movement he was a little bit more relaxed and here we went on to a three loop serpentine um, and the first two loops of the serpentine were a stretchy one where you had to show some stretch through your horse's neck um, and suppleness, which I think he did really well. Um, and then again, when I gathered my reins, you can see he just went a little bit tense again, um, preparing him for the walk. Um, and with Ruffian, again, he's quite a lazy horse, but quite sensitive at the same time. So he's a little bit tricky to ride, but within the free walk on the long rein, as long as I keep him stepping through, um, his neck does stretch out. I'd prefer it if it actually went more to the ground, um, and then I think we would get some extra marks there. But his steps in his walk were really lovely. And then again, gathering the reins to our medium walk uh, without the jog which sometimes he does and here I think he was thinking about it yeah and then just preparing for this canter transition which you can see he went off on the wrong leg which I thought was a little tricky uh, especially as we practiced that just before going into the arena but I quickly changed that um, and got him back and did a nice 15 meter circle um, and I, I do believe I could have prepared him better for that walk to canter transition but that's how it goes sometimes in dressage. Um, and then with our medium canter, that was okay. Um, the ground, again, was really slippy, so I didn't want to push him too much. And then um, with our downwards trot transition over X, he was really nice and quick on that for me. And then our second canter transition from trot to canter was a lot better. Um, and he went off on the correct leg, which is always great. Um, Onto our 15 meter circle, again, he was really good and just trying to balance him. He has got studs in, but because so many horses went round um, in this arena, it was just a bit sticky. Um, and again, in our medium canter, his quarters actually stuck in quite a lot down the long side. So that's definitely something to look out for with him. And then again, over X, our downwards trot transition. But I feel at this point, he is a lot more relaxed. Um, coming down our final centre line, keeping him nice and straight um, and getting him ready to prepare at G to halt and salute, which I was very happy with and he had lots of pats. Right, so we just finished the dressage, which wasn't the best but wasn't the worst. I thought he actually did overall a quite a nice dressage test, but he really messed what I both, we both messed up on that counter transition upwards at A. From walk to canter, he just took off on the wrong leg. I should have prepared him better, um, but just before going into the test, I did practice that walk to canter transition, so I think it was a little bit of cheekiness as well. Um, but I was really happy with his medium trot and his medium canters, that was a little bit more off the leg. Um, and our downwards canter to trot transitions were very accurate, and our halts I thought were quite good for him. 
Um, so overall quite happy with it, we'll see what um, score we'll get. And then onto the show jumping, which I'm a bit nervous about because it is so wet underfoot. Um, we didn't actually slip over in the dressage, which I was really happy with. Um, and then, yeah, see how we go show jumping, and then that will determine whether or not I run cross country. Three five seven in the ring now. This is Josephine Gleason. Josephine rides her own OFS Ruffian, section H, and bringing forward a dressage score of twenty five point eight. So onto our show jumping. You can see from the warm up how used up the ground was um, from the morning. I was quite lucky to be quite early on in my novice section um, and the event was very good at organising all the show jumps in the arena to be moved to fresher ground. Um, so it wasn't too bad jumping actually um, going into the show jumping. Um, and this I thought was a really beautiful round from Ruffian. Um, again, making sure I give myself plenty of time before the fences if he did slip. Um, I thought it was built quite up to height, um, but I felt he was really relaxed throughout the whole of the show jumping, actually. Usually he gets a little bit excited, um, but he was really listening to me. But again, just trying to really slow him down around the corners um, and get him jumping really carefully. Um, and he jumped everything with the water jump um, there. And then coming round to the last, which was a treble. And sadly, we just knocked the first part down. We were just very unlucky. He just tapped it with his front feet. But I thought he jumped a really brilliant round show jumping. Right, so we just finished our show jumping round, which I was really happy with. I was just really bummed out with that four folds because that would have led us a really good stead for a you know, top three finish, I think. Um, but he, was, he jumped really, really well. And on to our cross country. Ruff jumped round super clear. Um, sadly, we weren't inside the time. Um, I think the ground really just defeated us, it being so wet underfoot and it was very hilly. Um, but he jumped everything really great. Um, he had a bit of a look at the water jump, which you'll see later on. But he was jumping really out of stride. Um, he felt really good. He felt quite quick underground, actually. So I was very surprised three from home that my watch went off um, and that I knew I wasn't going to be inside the time. Um, but yeah, he was jumping really great, jumping between the flags for me. I thought this course resembled a bit of a team chase um, course as it was a lot of hedge hopping back in through fields and here you can see he just really had a look at that water jump. Um, I think it because it was so dark and like murky water that the horses only saw it quite last minute um, but he did pop over it um, and I was happy with him and then all the way up the hill um, around some brush fences and then onto this combination where he actually took a stride out um, and he was just flying round. He had a really great round other than having a look at that water jump but he jumped really great and had lots of um, energy in the tank as you can see coming to the last few fences um, and yeah he was he was such a good boy. We just finished our novice cross country. We were a bit slow on the time actually in Monmouth this year, so maybe the hills just defeated us. But um, yeah, I think we ended up with about six time slots. Um, I don't know where we finished today, but we went clear. So I need one more um, clear cross country before I'm legal to go up to intermediate. Um, but yes, very pleased with him today. We're now going to untack and wash him off and load him up and take him home. Thank you all so much for watching and stay tuned for another event vlog. I hope you enjoyed the video.